so really quick and easy video today we're going to be enabling a proposer on your Tyco node so the written guide is here at tyco.xyz under our node running guides and the prerequisites are that you have already set up a node and that's running so I have my L2 node here it's looking good I have my L3 node here and that is looking fine and then you also need a balance of ETH and TTKO or ETH and TTKOE, uh, depending if you're running an L2 or an L3 node. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to deposit some TTKO. So the reason we need to do that is because you need TTKO in order to propose a block that will have like, um, there's a block fee for, for proposing a block. So we'll go to this contract tab here and then we'll go to write as proxy We'll connect our wallet. Then we will deposit Tyco token. I have two, so I'll deposit one. And we'll have to add eight, uh, this 10 to the eight, it'll add eight decimals because there are eight decimals for the Tyco token. And we'll click write, send this transaction. And then once that's finished, we'll be able to go here for read as proxy and we can make sure that we have like a balance. So I can just get my um, address that I deposited Tyco token for and check that I have a balance and it looks like I have about 3.5 TTKO, so I should be good to go. And that was actually um, the first four steps, just depositing the TTKO. And now all we need to do is configure our node as a proposer. So we need to open the environment file and we need to set three values, enable proposer. We need to add the proposer private key, which will send the proposed block transaction and that, uh, that the uh, account for the, of this private key needs to have some TTKO. And then we'll add a fee recipient to receive the um, transaction fees for the block that is being proposed. And yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. That should be fairly simple. So I have a computer here and I will open this environment file. I can use Vim. I can also use something like Nano, which is pretty easy to use or Notepad if you're on Windows. So I will use Vim and I will open this .env file and I'll go down to this line here, which um, is for enabling a proposer and I will set this to true. And then I've already set these two other values, the L1 proposer private key and the suggested fee recipient. So I don't need to set those and I'll just save this file. And then all I need to do is restart my node. So if I go to this node runner manual, actually, you can see these like nice, easy to copy commands. So I'll just use this one to restart my node. And now it'll yeah, shut down my node and restart it with those configuration changes that I made to the environment file, which enables the proposer. All right, and then all I need to do now is I'll just go back to the guide and I just need to verify that I have a log that I successfully proposed a block. And if I see that log, then I should be good to go. So I'll also go back to this node runner manual. I'll copy this command to view the proposer logs. I'll go back to my terminal and I will take a look at this. So this might take a little bit um, because it, yeah, it just might take a little bit for it to look at the mempool and propose the block. So what I'll do in the meantime is I'll just enable my um, I'll just enable my L3 node as a proposer. So I just opened another window here on the right and I'll go to I have another directory for my L3 node, which is right here. And I'll go ahead and just follow the same steps. So I'll go to this enable a proposer guide and it's the same exact thing. Just uh, deposit TTKO, except this time we'll deposit TTKOE. And I'll go to that contract here and I'll have to do write proxy. I'll go to deposit Tyco token. I'll enter some amount and 
um, I'll add the um, zeros to it. I'll click right. I won't do this now because I actually already deposited some TTKOE, but yeah, it's the exact same steps. And then you can just check that you have a balance here again. One thing to keep in mind is that for um, there, you can see what the block fee is, which I kind of talked about the, the how much TTKO is needed to propose one block. So this is it for an L2 node. You, you can find that on, at status.test.tyco.xyz. And you can see it's about 0.5 TTKO to propose a L2 block. And if you go to the um, Explorer and the, the stats page, which is just here on the left, the L doll stats, you can see the block fee is about 0 0.06 TTKOE. So yeah, sending one um, is sufficient. And yeah, so like I said, I already deposited some into this uh, Tyco L1 contract. I already deposited TTKOE, so we can just go and configure that .env file. And in the L3 node case, it'll be a .env.l3 file. And I'll set these three values, and then I can restart the node. And yeah, let's just go ahead and do that. I'll edit this env.l3 file. I'll go down here to enable proposer. I'll set this to true. I already set the private key. I already set the suggested fee recipient. Um, so I'll just save this file and I will re go to the node runner manual. I'll go to this restart node command. I'll copy the command to restart a node and I'll do that. So this will restart the node. And actually you can see here on the left, the L2 node fetched the, um, the tr transaction pool content. So it fetched those transactions that are in its mempool to construct a, um, the, the call data to do the proposed block transaction. So I think we should see that log soon. Um, anyways, back to the right here, we um, have the L3 node going on. So what I will do is I will um, also uh, ch uh, copy this command to see the proposer logs and I will check the proposer logs and now this needs to wait and um, yeah by the time we did that we've already proposed a block on L2 you can see that right here proposed transaction succeeded uh, as we have um, here on the last step for verify proposer logs so yeah if you want to like verify that this actually happened like you can just go to um, for example on um, for the L2 node the, th this is the L1 for, for Tyco L2. I, I can check the address um, of, of the account that proposed the block and I can see, okay, 41 seconds ago it proposed the block. And yeah, so that's pretty cool. And I won't wait for the L3 node to do it, but eventually this, this L3 node should come with the same log, proposed transaction succeeded. So that's really all there is to it. If you have any issues with running a node, you can look at this troubleshooting reference. And yeah, it's really as simple as that. So happy node running. See ya.